upon you, Lady oh. Nocturnal, Queen of Merc, and Empress of Shadow. Oh gosh. Hear my voice. I can't move. Ah, Carlyle. Oh boy. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? <laughs> my lady. You're talking to I've Purple Orb! To throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. What? To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. What are we, flesh to you? What's going on? my craving for wealth, your grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale. Oh, and snap. I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Uh oh. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a Carlyle. Uh, I'm a Carlyle. <laughs> no, that's Carlyle. I'm a Nightingale. What am I talking about? reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. He's done more. Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. So the key unlocks any door? Well, yes. But Dude, the key isn't only I want that. restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, potential becomes limitless. <laughs> oh, the Thieves Guild should possess this item. Wait, no, the three of us should keep it. I'm afraid that's impossible. What? If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. First time I've ever set out to return... First time I've ever set out to return something. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. What? I suggest you listen to him. I Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Oh. Why tell this to me? Guys, sorry about all the dialogue. It's just, I want to get through this. Uh, I like knowing the story. I hope you guys like knowing the story, too. So, I like listening and discussing with these characters because I feel like it helps me get more immersed into, like, the quest line that I'm playing. So, hope you guys understand. Uh, let's continue. Why tell this to me? Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Oh, snap! Me? What about you? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead, never desired it, never cared for it, don't want it. Uh, I don't know what to say. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, 
We have quite the uh, task ahead. <laughs> I love how the game doesn't give me any option. It's like, you'll accept or you'll accept. Like, you don't get to decline it. It's You're going to become it. <laughs> okay, click. All right, then let's get to it. I've been pouring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthan. Ah. Uh, Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, do you think we'd stand a chance against Mercer? If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Carlia. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade than spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. Yeah, that's true. I guess we're Nightingales now! Aye, and some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Oh boy. Alright, so. We meet Thank you. Alrighty, so let's get on with this now, yes, yeah, shall we? Alright, let's go do this way. Uh, Carlia! I'm... <laughs> oh, you're funny. What's down these passages? Ooh, open a wooden door. Should I loot from the night? Oh, wow, look at all this. The Red Kitchen Reader. Interesting. Mm, there's a chest here. Uh, let's pick it. Boom! Gold. Take. Thank you. I steal from the nightingales because I'm one of them, baby. This is our hangout. Oh, we can do some practice. Test practicing. Actually, I think I need to actually... Uh, yes, I need to charge this sword. This charge is low. Woo! Alright, there we go. That's better. Alright, let's go ahead and save. And we'll put this away. Anything else in here? Chest. Another chest. Boom! More gold and lockpicks. Perfect. Sounds like, uh, just what the Thieves Guild ordered. All right, um, all right. So let's head out here, and we are going to, I suppose, go to the. Oh, yeah, some carrots, huh? We're gonna go. We need to go to a store. I need to buy some potions. Um, because if we've got a fight ahead of us, health is low. Health is like my my worst enemy in all combat, which is pretty decent thing to say because I think that's what plagues most people when they play this game um, obviously if you continue to die that makes the game quite a bit harder so we are going to hit up some sort of a apothecary or something like that I don't know and um, let's see here isn't this a standing stone uh, we'll buy some more potions. The Shadow Stone. No, I'm not there yet. Okay. Where is the Shadow Stone? I don't even know. Oh, this music. It's beautiful. What is this little town? Or this little place? Let's discover it. I've never discovered this yet. Snowshod Farm. Alright. Where am I? Right here? Okay. So when I want to go to Fort Dawnguard, we'll just teleport to here. We'll TP to the Fort Helm Hollow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Whiterun. I'm going to try and hit up somebody that sells some potions or something. Get some healing potions. I also sold back... Uh, I sold some of the... 
I also sold some of the diamonds and things. I have so many riches, it's ridiculous. I've got like emeralds, flawless emeralds, rubies, flawless rubies, amethyst, flawless amethyst, all of it. I got all of it. Gold rings and everything. It's you don't believe me? Check it this out. Check, check it this. Check it. Check it this out. Uh, miscellaneous. I've got. Look at this. Uh, where are we? Emeralds. Look at this. Flawless sapphire. Flawless ruby. Flawless garnet. Flawless emerald. Garnet. Gold ingots. Grand soul gems. Rubies. Sapphires. Um. I don't know what to do with these soul gem fragments. I think. I think there's, you're supposed to like, you can equip them? I don't even know. It's interesting. Um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff. So let's see if we can sell back some of this stuff to somebody. This white run, this mod looks so cool. Bah, it's awesome. All right, let's go to, let's talk to, wait, 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 wait. Bellathor, you're not open yet? Let's wait. Let's wait an hour. <laughs> oh. It was... He was open, right? Got something for just All right, about good. everybody in here. Give a hop. Everything's for... Some All may right. call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. Potions. Um... He's got potions of plentiful magicka. <clears throat> or one. He's got one. Alright, let's take this. And that. Let's take that. Uh let's take one of those too. Alright, oh wait, no, no, I wanna trade back trade back to you. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. Ingredients. Nope. No. 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 Miscellaneous. There we go. All right. Uh. Emeralds. Let's sell all these. This stuff. Oh wow. That's not going to work. Alright, so I pretty much just ran him out of money. This song that's playing right now, though, is like one of my favorite songs in the game. Arcadia's Cauldron. I think this is the potion shop. I think. Yep. You look rather pale. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Good. Alrighty. So. Let's take one of those. Extreme healing. Extreme magicka. I'm buying a lot of these potions of healing because, like I said, that's sort of what plagues me. That'd be good too. Oh, that's a good one too. So you're interested in hey. my potions and ingredients? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Hold Pardon on. me, but do I? I think I can teach you a thing. I think like training in alchemy. How much is that going to cost? Ooh. All right. Let's do. Uh... Sick. I must level up to train more. Did I just level up? You must level up to train more. Yeah, I don't... 
I've got one down. I don't do any alchemy though. That's a whole other side of the game that I've never even explored. I would love to explore all that stuff. Like alchemy is the side of all of the Elder Scrolls games that I sort of just stay away from because it confuses the crap out of me. I don't really know what to do. Um, but I'd love to adventure into that territory at some point. Okay, so we have let's see, Irking Th Irking Thad. I love the names of the dwarven ruins; they're so cool. Uh, which is right there. So let's go to Felgo Keep. Fell glow, fell glow. All right, cool. Sup, old man? Raw! <laughs> All right, horsey, let's ride. Oh snap! It's about time I found one of these dudes. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. Get down here, big boy. Save right there. Blood Dragon. I'm going to take you down. Stay on this ground, bro. Oh, wow. Did I just shot you to death? I think my spell killed you. Or did my horse kill you? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Absorb. Absorb it into me! Oh. Yes! Nice! Let's search this. Gold, nice! Um. I'll take those two. Alright, as you were. Oh, I also realized this too while I was playing around earlier a little bit. You can actually pull out your weapon now on a horse. That was probably included within an update. Uh, I honestly did not know about that. But uh, I just found it out. And you can actually right-clicking attacks on the left side of your horse. And right-clicking attacks on the... Or no, left-clicking attacks on the, the... It's like opposite. Left-clicking attacks on the right side of your horse. Right-clicking attacks on the left side. It's weird. But uh, it's pretty cool they added that. I think you can do that for archery too. Let me check though, just to make sure. Yeah, look at this. You can you can ride and shoot things at the same time. Now accuracy, I don't know how accurate you'll be, but you can do it, which is kinda cool. So I hope I'm going the right way here. I, I don't really know, to be honest with you. But this horse can traverse oh gosh. Oh wow. Let's let's be more careful, shall we? All right, where am I? <laughs> Ooh, is there a dragon right there? There is. Is he perched on that cliff? Hey! Wake up! 